What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of Joe Boo's day job, Joe Boo's sports report, and cooking and tailgating with Joe Boo. Um, this has nothing to do with football, but, you know, I wish this had happened, you know, like a couple of weeks ago. Here's where it's kind of interesting. You know, every year, going to Memorial Weekend, the price of gasoline goes up. Yeah, but that's the most it's ever been. Well, yeah, it is. It's true. But because they're pushing it a little bit further because they've got excuses. They say, oh, well, there's the war that's going on. Oh, you know, there's the pandemic. So it's With going it went up, okay? But what? It, but then what always happens, and, and also, too, they say that the price goes up in the spring because they're getting to the summer blends, so that way they're less pollutative. Now, you know, we got uh, the, this uh, uh, refinery down and things and yada, yada, yada. Well, come after the Memorial weekend, not too far after, the prices kind of go down. You know, we all get crazy and bent out of shape because it costs too much. You know, people start talking about buying electric cars or people start consolidating their trips or carpooling, doing things to use less gas. But magically, every year it starts going down. The thing that's interesting in Central Virginia is the price goes up really fast. But the thing is, at least in Central Virginia, it goes down real fast too. Now, Northern Virginia, it'll go down, you know, it'll go up 10 cents, you know, overnight, just like that. But when it comes down, it'll drop down about three, four, you know, on a good day, maybe five cents. Well, just two weeks ago, it was about, what, 475, 480 a gallon? Um, Right now, it's kind of crazy because it's dropping like on a daily basis. Um, when we went past the Walmart gas station, the Walmart gas station usually is the cheapest one in town in here. When we came through this morning, it was 443 and everybody kind of hovers a couple cents above that. But, you know, one drops, everybody drops. So we went to the dump earlier, it was 443. We came back through, it was... I'm sorry. Yeah, 443. We came back through. It's 432. Now, magically, we just went past Martin's, and it was 438. And the ones that are closest to the exit, the interchange, are always the highest because it's convenience of being able to just get off the road, grab that gas, and go through. There's always cheaper ones in town, but then you've got to hunt for them. So now, all of a sudden, everybody's now in the 430 range. And I'm betting if I stay here till Friday, it'll be down to about 429. And, and interestingly enough, on the way down here, I um, can't remember the name of the city, but one of the exits, it was 416 a gallon. So now we're beginning to have the price war where it's going down for real. Yep, so here, here's a BP right here. This BP is usually on the higher side. And right now it's 438. Yeah. So, it's a range of about 432 to 439 down here. And by next week, it'll be in the, the 420s. And probably by the end of July, it'll be back in the... Well, no, I, I don't even think it's going to take till the end of July. I bet you we'll start seeing within 10 days at under $4, at least here in Central Virginia. I'm hoping that everybody's getting some relief wherever they are um, with the price of gas, but... You know, like you said, it's funny how Northern Virginia, it's slow to come back down. Central Virginia, it drops like 10 cents in a whack. Hopefully, you'll be able to uh, get some good gas mileage and find some good gas prices wherever you are. I'm Mark. Oh, the other thing I do, too, <laughs> is what I do. I'm here in Central Virginia. I fill up down here. The good thing about my truck is it gets about 550 to 600 miles to a tank full. So I'm buying down here where it's in the 430 range as opposed to, you know, you can hunt around in Northern Virginia and get it for about 451. Is that what you thought? I think it's the cheapest that we've seen up there. But it's it like 451. Be, it might be cheaper to, than that. This is where I got gas because it's the cheapest. Yeah. That's all. At least when we left yesterday, it was like 451 to about $5. That range. Uh, very few at 451. But I fill up down here because, well, uh, it's a lot cheaper than up there. And when you start talking about 50 cents a gallon with 32 gallons, that's a difference of about $16 a tank full. And that's a lot of money. 
and it adds up real quick. All right, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll see you soon.